Well, again, I just wanted to go over shifts and uh, go in more detail with that. I feel like my last video, I kind of just breezed over it. And so I pulled up the Battlefield 2042 um, game profile that I created uh, during the beta. And I just want to kind of show you what I was talking about as far as the shifts and how I plan on implementing those. So as you can see here, this is my, my main configuration. Um, I have an associated app to the actual game. And then the um, game is actually detected while will be applied to slot one. So in slot one, it's detected, it'll show up here. Now the idea here is that I want to make this key, as you can see, E tank. So like E would be me entering the tank and then that would be my shift one um, modifier. So how this would work is I would click on shift one and then I would click on this right here, okay? And I would click here, use as shift modifier, and then toggle, unclick, okay? Now, when I go here, it's showing all of this grayed out. Now, if you want to not have to go through and bind every key over again, you can right click on your main configuration, copy it, right click on shift one, and paste it. Boom, everything carries over. That way you can delete, say, I don't know, a couple of them and not have to delete all of them in order for you to then go and adjust them. So if your tank binds are going to be different, then again, you just hold down this key bind right here before entering into the tank. And when you enter it, it will automatically toggle to this. Now, the feature isn't done yet, but what I would like to see from Rewaz at some point is that when you, you can click another button to exit out of it. Now, when I exit out of the tank, um, I would just have to hit this E button again to exit out. And then again, that will close out this profile or this configuration, sorry, and then go to my main configuration, um, which is right here. Now, for shift two, which would be my plane shift two, um, if I wanted to enter a plane by, you know, seeing it on the ground and pushing E, it would be my key 14. So again, I would highlight shift two modifier. I would click the 14, use a shift modifier, toggle, click outside of it. And then I would turn off my showing maps. And again, as you can see, all of them are grayed out because nothing is bound towards to this shift. Now, copy it, paste it, and bam, there you go. So that way, all of your um, five-way settings are the same. All of your WASD settings are the same, especially your advanced. Um, this all carries over, which makes it very useful. It saves a lot of time. Um, you can do the same thing with configurations. Um, like I showed you with the Halo example in my previous video, you can have all of the different Halos with different key binds that you can click. And so then you'd be able to copy. So right here, clone to, right? So I could just clone to, and then I clone it to the Battlefield 2042 game configuration, which is up here. And then I could just call it, I mean, I don't know, Battlefield 4, whatever. Um, yes. And then Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. I apologize. So I would click here, clone two, uh, choose the existing one. So it'd be 2042 clone it. Boom. There you go. Sorry. So then now you can rename these and this one would be, you know, Battlefield 4. And then this one would be Battlefield 2042. So what you can do is, is then you can over here, I could just call this Battlefield and set of Battlefield 2042. Um, but then the auto detect can get really crazy. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend, you know, just making Battlefield 4 its own. Battlefield 2042 its own, because then that way it'll auto detect 
that single game and then go to it. But I just wanted to highlight the cloning and then the copying and pasting um, to make it a lot easier for everyone um, when they're doing their configurations and they don't have to remap everything and, and you know go crazy with it. Um, so that is um, the shift modding modifiers and I just wanted to show you that and kind of how I use them um, and then get creative with them and you know share in the comments uh, how you use it or how you're thinking about using it. Um, but hit that like button helps me out and uh, hopefully this uh, video helps you out as well. Have a good one.